Poyang Lake is the largest freshwater lake in China. It's been the site of an enormous number of strange and mysterious events, and some people call it the Chinese Bermuda Triangle. From the early 1960s to the late 1980s, more than 200 ships sank in the mysterious waters of Poyang Lake. According to the Department in Charge of Maritime Affairs in China, large ships with payloads as heavy as 2,000 tons have sunk in Poyang Lake. On August 3, 1985, 13 ships were lost on a single day which is an extremely rare event in maritime history. Scientists have been trying to unravel Poyang Lake's mysteries for years, but no investigations have yielded any concrete conclusions. The Nanjing Institute of Geography and Limnology, which is the study of inland water, has devoted itself to exploring and investigating Poyang Lake in recent years. Jiahu Jiang, a researcher at the Institute, said it is unimaginable that no ship wreckage or victim remains have ever been found beneath the waters during the numerous expeditions that they have conducted, even though hundreds of ships are known to have disappeared. Japanese invaders during World War II also fell victim to the lake's effects. The Japanese army that invaded China during World War II encountered an unexplained situation on the lake. On April 16, 1945, a Japanese cargo ship was fully loaded with treasures stolen from Chinese civilians. It weighed more than 2,000 tons, sank in Poyang Lake. The ship sank in the lake and none of the crew escaped. The Japanese military ordered its Navy personnel stationed nearby to salvage the ship. It sent out several divers near the wreckage, but only one of the divers found his way back to the shore. When a Japanese rescue team found him, he was so traumatized from what he experienced that he could not speak. The survivor was stricken with extreme fear, so much so he was driven to insanity. Toward the end of World War II, the Chinese nationalist government tried to salvage the ship once again, this time with help from Edward Bohr, a respected American diver and salvage expert. In the summer of 1946, Bohr led a dive team, but nothing was found after a months-long search. During the search, several divers also mysteriously vanished. Many years later, Edward Bohr spoke of having seen a blinding light and hearing an ear-piercing screeching sound while diving in the lake. He claimed that the lake appeared to be shaking and an unseen vortex was pulling him and his dive team towards the lake bottom. However, he did manage to escape. He claims to have seen the rest of his dive team disappear into the bottom of the lake from the grip of a vortex. In recent years, the fascinating fascination with Poyang Lake has only grown, drawing not only scientists, but also curious adventurers and paranormal enthusiasts from around the world. Some believe the lake holds secrets of ancient civilizations, while others speculate about natural phenomena or even extraterrestrial influences that defy human understanding. What's very intriguing about the Poyang Lake area is the geographic location. It is situated in the vicinity of 30 degrees north latitude. Many people link the mystery of these waters with other unsolved mysteries centering around 30 degrees north latitude, such as the Bermuda Triangle in the Atlantic Ocean, and the pyramids in Egypt. The story of Poyang Lake continues to be written, with each chapter more intriguing than the last. Perhaps one day the truth will emerge from the depths of the lake. Until then, Poyang Lake remains a silent guardian of its secrets, inviting us to ponder the mysteries that lie beneath its surface. Please smash the subscribe button if you made it this far. Also, click to watch the next video.